Linville Raid of 1840. Now before we get into the raid itself, we have to go back to what it caused it, which in this case is the council house fight, which was when a group of Mexican children, along with a white girl named Matilda Lockhart, were rescued and taken to the council house. Currently, a court was being held with Texans and a group of Comanche leaders to propose a peace treaty between the Comanches and the Texans. However, the Comanche leaders within the council house were then proclaimed as prisoners and they were to be held captive until the other captive children were released. Instead, the leaders attempted to escape, only to be chased by the Texan soldiers, while the remaining were killed in the courtyard. The Texans demanded that the Comanche's captives were to be released by sending a Comanche woman as a messenger. The Comanche ignored their demand and the Texans' captives eventually escaped. This fight led to greater hatred between the Texans and the Comanches, causing the Comanches to begin raiding deeper into Texas. August 6. 1840, the Linville Raid. The current leader of the Comanches was Buffalo Hump, mainly because all the other chiefs were dead. When they showed up, people thought they were Lippins, a group of traders that made business with the townsfolk. First, they killed a number of slaves and some whites and captured 1,500 horses. However, they couldn't sack the town, so they retreated to Spring Creek, where they camped the night on August 7th on the ranch of Placido Benavides. So this man, Daniel D. Brown, warned the citizens as Comanches neared Linville. However, the Comanches still surprised the town because townsfolk thought they were Mexican horse traders. People remaining from the beginning of the fight fled to water, boarding small boats and a schooner. For one day, the Comanches plundered the town like pirates on land. The Comanches and about 3,000 horses and a number of captives camped near Abeo, where after they were done loading all their stolen goods onto a pack of mules. Men from Victoria and Cuero Creek joined together to try and drive off the natives. The Comanches retreated, but were defeated at the battle that followed, the Battle of Prum Creek, which was basically against the natives and the Texas Rangers. Long story short, August 11, 1840, they got defeated and were pushed westward. Linville never regained fame after that and was soon forgotten. And that concludes our story. Thanks for watching.